listen up, listen up. Now we're talking serious shit, okay? So you gotta pay attention. A knife fight is not a movie fight. I do stunt work in the movies. I don't care if it's a grandma with dementia and you've trained for 35 years like I have. Grandma with a kitchen knife will absolutely possibly kill you. Do not take a blade, a screwdriver, anything. A shiv, a shank, broken bottle, don't take it for granted. Oh, but I train, it's cool. No, it's not cool because how many times have you sparred around and you're way better than the guy? And you hit him a hundred times and he hit you once or tw ten times. Now I gotta hit you once or ten times. I don't care if you're ten times better than me. I will take one hundred of his punches. Will you take ten stabs for one hundred punches? Better hope that one of those punches knocked me out before I got a couple of these. In. Okay. It's not a joke. A knife, you're just trying to increase your survivability. Empty hand versus knife is no fun. Even at close range, I'll just carry a gun. Well, at this range, you don't have time to draw a gun. I'm gonna follow the, the draw, maybe one round goes off, I got it in here, or I follow it, and it, you, you know, and boom, 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 you're already dead. You don't have even space. Honestly, that's not the best force option at close. You might have to go empty hand and break away. I get about 10 yards, and now I'll draw. Okay, now I'll draw. I'm gonna run, break away, hit him, break away, get contact get some distance, and now I'll go to force option or run away, get in your car, lock the door, drive away, hit him with the car, hit him with the pole, grab a pool cue, whatever, grab an improvisational weapon, grab a chair. Chairs are actually pretty effective, okay? In Israel, they do it a lot when, when guys go on rampages trying to kill people for a different religion. You just put the chair up and you can kind of sense them in here, pretty good to keep them away. Even old ladies, I've seen them jab with the chair bags, okay? One of the most common attacks, we can't handle everything, but one of the most common attacks is someone walking up to you and he does a grab and stab. Ooh. Okay. This is very bad. It's called the leveraging knife. You, you, they say you gotta go two on one and focus on the knife. And for the most, um, for the most expense, that's true. That's commonly true. I wanna get two on one on the knife, I wanna focus on the weapon hand and all that, because this is much worse than this. So if I gotta take a hit, if you kickbox it, like, okay, I'll take a hit. That's better than taking one of these. But the leveraging arm, or a collar top, or a hair grab, this is dangerous, you gotta deal with it. So the best way to deal with it is deal with it early. And you gotta recognize, so, it's like, hey man, you didn't give me that money, you owed me whatever, I did this, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I can attach to it. And now we're like in a hockey fight, except I got a big saber tooth, tiger tooth. Okay, so we're not equal. So the best way is if someone's coming up with that, if you can read the intention, if you see this, that's typically not a pistol, this is usually a pistol, this is usually a pistol, bent elbow, 45 degrees, watch it, that means weapon. If you see bent elbow, you need to recognize the shape. That means weapon, okay? If you see this, that's usually knife, screwdriver, something stabbing you. Okay, if it's this, could be a knife, could be a pistol. Pay attention to the 45 degree bent elbow. You need to recognize that right away, and you need to pay attention to this. If you see a guy like this, or he's going back here to his pocket, if you see any of this, you gotta get out of here. So, if I recognize this, and he's walking up on me, and he goes to grab me, here, okay? I'm gonna parry, go slow. As it reaches out, I'm gonna parry and try and go footwork like Filipino Kali. I'm gonna parry out here. I'm gonna try to like, it's kind of like a combination karate chop and like an axe hand and like a judge cell depending on what it is. So it's kind of in, it's not only this, pure axe hand or what you said, but kind of in. So I'm gonna go here and here and I made my hole. I'm gonna transition a pistol, I can get, get behind a car, a barrier. We can look like a, a cartoon all day long. If that saved me, I would be sucking and diving, basketball playing, ah, running away, oh, you switch direction, running the other way. If that's what you gotta do, <laughs> do it. And if someone ever has a gun or a knife, don't be like, oh yeah, you don't got the guts. <clears throat> you have to take it serious. Okay, I don't care if they're not running after you, and they're just going, I'm gonna kill you. Spring your butt away. There is no reason to talk and stay with Okay, if someone intimidates you with a weapon, you have to take it seriously. 
I've seen so much footage like, oh, you ain't gonna do nothing, ding, ding, ding. Oh, you ain't got the guts, boom. Don't do it. You see it? I'm gonna run away. I don't care about looking like a chicken. You can't have any ego when it comes to weapons. Okay, so, but if you see that intention, like we did the other time with the turn, but his hands here, instead of the turn, the tango spinner, we're naked. If I see that, I don't assume he's just loading a big hook from a weird way, like, like, um, what's his name? Okay. Um, I have to assume that's weapon. So as he comes, whoa, go on a fence, he goes, and I'm gonna run out. Simple? Good, go, do it now, yeah.